Mm-hmm. Now, when we all make plays, I know that's a that's a big Westgate thing, you know. And now, you know, they have a guy, you know, coming out obviously Kayshawn Booty going to LSU. How much were you able to follow them last year? How much were you able to follow him? Man, it's because I worked out. Me and him worked out together the other day. You know, Kayshawn, one of those guys where he just he's super super talented. And the sky's the limit for him. And he's only going to get bigger and faster and stronger. And, you know, right now it's, it's all about his mental. You know, he kind of – I always kind of tell him every time I get around him, I, I feel like, you know, your future is, you know, it's up to you. What you want to – if you want to be a first-round draft pick, uh, second, third, fourth undrafted, you know, that's going to be up to you. So he's one of those kids, man, where he – like the other day, um, it was like spur of the moment. He even had no cleats. Um, at the time, he couldn't get in his house to grab no cleats. And he was like, Spence, you got a size 12? I was like, I don't have a 12. I got a 10. And, like, you know, he still put up to the workout. And he found some cleats, and he was still there. So that that shows me that his work ethic is already there. So um, he's talented, man. He's kind of, you know, in my eyes, he's one of the most athletic guys to ever come out of Westgate. And... I feel like, you know, once he gets to LSU and just him being around guys who, who also has that ability, it's going to bring the best out of him. And, you know, he's going he's gonna to make a lot of noise at LSU uh, the, next, the next three to four years. So uh, it's going to be exciting just to see him grow as a, as a player and a person. I saw you talk with your old coach, Tim Leje, the other day, the ULY receiver meeting room. How important have – keeping, you know, some of those relationships, like with Coach Tim, I don't know, you know, with Coach B, whoever, you know, from, from McNeese. And then were you able – do you follow UL at all? Are you, you know, are you – do you follow their progress, the wide receivers, anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I just – I kind of follow just up with the, you know, the updates of the scores and stuff like that. It's kind of hard for me to sit down and watch uh, college football just because, you know, Saturday is like a traveling day for us in the league. Um, but – Man, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, having those connections and, you know, and even those guys just reaching reaching out to me, it just kind of shows, you know, um, just the way I kind of went about my college days and, you know, how they how they just visualize me as a, you know, as a mentor and just being an inspiration to the younger guys in college. Um, you know, and Coach Bob, you know, he's at Grambling now. Um, Coach Leje, Coach, Coach V, all those guys, you know, they had – um, they had a part of, you know, kind of shaping me into into the man I am because, you know, my father passed away. But, um, you know, that's the that's the men that, you know, I was around. And, um, you know, I, you know, I credit to those guys just for, you know, teaching me um, just so much.